it's midday. This is the ANCA live to you from Johannesburg. Thank you very much for joining us. In our top story, the Northwest Health Department says a patient who sparked an Ebola scare in Pochefström has been transferred to the Clarksdorp Zepong Hospital. Uh, let's talk to the department and find out what the status is of this gentleman. We understand he is a 72-year-old man and he was treated in isolation at the Pochefström Hospital. Good morning and thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Uh, Tebogo Lechetwane, who is the spokesperson of the Northwest uh, West Health Department. Tebogo, can you confirm that the gentleman quarantined uh, earlier at Pochefström Hospital is definitely not suffering from Ebola? We can confirm that, ma'am. At the moment, indeed, the patient has been transferred to Tlaxdop in a very stable condition. Tlaxdop is our designated isolation center in the province, and uh, we're going to continue to run some tests today. Uh, hopefully, we will know by midnight uh, what the condition is. Because as we had indicated, the patient presented with uh, high fever, weakness, and cough. And the symptoms that we saw was that of hemorrhagic fever. And uh, we will know immediately after the test come out what is the disease. But we are excluding Ebola because the patient has not traveled any anyway abroad and has not been in contact with anyone who comes from outside of South Africa. We know for a fact that this patient is a local patient, uh, uh, member of the community in the farming communities near, near Pochefstrom. That is what we know thus far. I can also uh, say that Pochefstrom Hospital, we have uh, uplifted the quarantine uh, immediately after the patient was transferred to the hospital. Uh, let, let's just get some clarity on, on this uh, hemorrhagic fever issue. We know that it, the, the term is, is a sort of umbrella definition that refers to a number of, of, of diseases that fall underneath the wider umbrella uh, of hemorrhagic fever. We know that uh, uh, dengue fever, the Marburg virus, Rift Valley fever are among those that fall under that definition. I mean, are you able to say, even though he's, he has uh, operated locally and not been exposed to anyone traveling, uh, are you able to say uh, which of these he's likely to be suffering from? Yes, yeah, the, 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 there are different types of fevers uh, that we know of. And we still maintain that the only way of getting, um, in particular, Ebola, is through contact, as explained by National Department of Health, various times. And when we look at this patient, we looked at the background. Where has the patient been? Who has he been in contact with? And it's very clear to us that uh, the, there could be other things that we don't know. That is why we are running tests. And that is why we are saying to people, the, the, the chances of us talking about Ebola are very slim. Uh, was, was this patient in any position to pinpoint the source of his exposure to the fever? Come again? Well, was he in any position to pinpoint the, the possible source of his exposure to this illness? Well, I'm really struggling to hear you, but uh, the, we, we don't know yet in terms of how could a patient be able to be in contact or, or to, to have this kind of fever. Well, are you investigating the possibility that he might have already passed the disease on to others he came into contact with at home or work? We are busy with that investigation, but also in, at, at Pontius room where he was, we have ensured that we have uh, disinfected all the medical facilities and the staff that he was in contact with. They will also be put under uh, close monitoring to check if there are any signs that uh, will be presenting similar to those that he has. Equally, we will continue to check with the family where he comes from if there are any signs. At this moment, we don't have any indication of that sort. Uh, do you have any idea when you will have res the results of the medical tests you've carried out on him? I spoke with the hospital in about five minutes ago, and the indication is that we would have 
result by midnight today. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us. Tebeho Lechtwane is spokesperson of the Northwest Health Department.